Hello, welcome back to Zelda the Minish Cap. In our last video, we made it over to Mount Cronel, and today we're going to be starting to climb. So, we came down here to buy some bombs. Just because we don't quite have enough for everything we want to do on our way up the mountain. But with that, we've bought 10 more, and that should give us enough to make it as far as we need to with them. Yeah, so basically on the mountain, any time I run into a dead end or a space between like some posts, I'm going to want to put a bomb there, because there's probably going to be secrets. Now we already cleared this out earlier, so the enemies haven't respawned. Just trying to gather up some rupees, because we keep seeming to run into things we need to actually buy, so... Rupees seem to be a lot more useful in this game than some of the Zelda games. Okay, so we've come to a dead end, so that means we need to bomb the wall. Nice, we found a heart container. Even better, it gave us our bombs back. So we got 50 rupees and a kinstone. I like that we can actually kind of maneuver between some spider webs and things if we're minish size that we wouldn't be able to at full size. Alright, another kinstone. Not sure who we're going to match all these with, but we're at least collecting them for now. Okay, so there's a hole in the ground. Um, that I want to see what's in it. Oh, cool, another kinstone. Now I think we gathered some of that water earlier, 
but looks like this is a hint that we're going to put it to use now. Okay, I guess we're to carry these out of here. I guess what that's what those sticks are for. They're kinda in our way and we gotta dodge them while carrying this beam. Oh, I was trying to put the beam in there and I fell in myself. So now we gotta use the Mount Cornell water. But I guess I have to get back to regular link size. It's weird that you can't use items when you're minish size. Yeah, the only reason it's strange is because we could use items minish size in the deep wood shrine. But I guess in the overworld you can. It's kind of like the rules change. It's a little weird. Okay, there's a dead end, so I'm sure we can blow this up, too. Seems to be getting a lot more liberal with giving us bomb pickups, though, which I appreciate. Yeah, at least we don't have to go back down the mountain to buy more bombs. I guess they kind of realized that was a problem and put some more bomb pickups higher up. You can only one direction. It's a bit of a mystery to get, or a bit of a maze to get up here.
Okay, so I think this item's gonna allow us to climb up and down the mountain. Alright, we're getting all sorts of items here. Alright, it seems like we can't really do anything in here yet. I don't think we can do anything there. Alright, I don't think we've been down here because there's still tech types we haven't killed, so this must be the way we have to go. have the falling boulders like Death Mountain. Ah, nice. Another heart container and a fairy fountain. So let's see what's on this wall of a mountain. We're also going to have to dodge all these falling boulders. They remind me a lot of the original NES Zelda. And this would be just like Link to the Past where we can throw items into this fairy fountain. Just a regular bomb. All right, we got a big bomb bag for that, so we can hold 30 bombs now. That'll help us up the mountain. Is this just like a trick to get us to stop here? Yeah. All right, we made it up the climbing section. Now, I don't think I want to commit to jumping across until I explore down below. Alright, 
so I think this guy just gives us hints. It's funny that they give us a hint to blow up walls when we're already all the way up the mountain. Like, we've already been doing that this whole time. In fact, without doing that, we couldn't have got the climbing race to get up here in the first place. But I think we're going to be out of time here, so we're going to head to the top and jump across, and that'll be it for this video. So as always, thanks for watching, and come see us in the next video of the Minish Cap.